Hi, this is Todd Hoban from Making Music Magazine, and today we're going to take a look at a lot of the different cables that you're going to be dealing with if you ever end up in the studio or playing in a band. We're going to start with something everybody recognizes, and that is a standard guitar patch cord. And here it is. The end to a standard guitar cable or patch cord, sometimes referred to as a phone plug because the phone company used to use these years ago. They invented it. It has a tip and a sleeve. If you run more than 17.5 feet of this unbalanced cable, you'll pick up radio frequencies. That's that buzz you hear that's the 60 cycle hum. Sometimes you'll get radio stations. Standard patch cord. Now take a look at this plug. It looks a lot like a standard guitar patch cord, but it's got a tip, a ring, and a sleeve. We call these TRS cables, tip, ring, sleeve, TRS. And it's balanced. Uh, we'll go into that a little bit later. Usually a tip ring sleeve is connected in the studio so that you can run a greater distance of cable. And at the other end, you could have a mic cable. Let me show you. Now I mentioned mic cable, right? The tip ring sleeve could be used. It's got a two conductor shielded so that it's balanced. This is a standard mic cable. This is the end that actually goes in the mic. Sometimes we call these XLR cables, and you'll notice this is a female jack. Three little holes for tip, ring, and a sleeve connection. This is the female version of an XLR mic cable. Mic goes in here. At the other end, you've got the male end. Tip, ring, sleeve connection. You can see the three pins right there. That will go into your right into your console or into a preamp uh, to boost the signal up a little bit. Mic cable, XLR. Looks familiar, right? Tip, ring, sleeve. But this plug is attached to a pair of headphones. And if you take this same plug and wire it so that the right ear goes one way, the left ear to the other in a common ground, then you've got stereo headphones. We're all familiar with it. You plug it right into your stereo. And look at that. Same thing. Tip, ring, sleeve. But this is an eighth inch jack that we use on our iPhones and our iPads. I wanted to show you these just for fun. These are old fashioned RCA jacks invented by the Radio Corporation of America. That's why we call them RCA jacks. And this used to uh, hook up your radio or your old-fashioned stereo system. We don't see these too much anymore. And in the old days, there was a yellow uh, tap that would, would get your video. Now we use HDMI cables. But you might see some of these things around on old electronics gear. Okay, now these look familiar, don't they? If you're sending digital information, boy, this gets a little confusing. These are called, not the RCA jack and not XLR, but these are called SPDIF, and these are called AES-EBU. It's to send digital information. So if you see a digital output in one of these cables plugged in, it's just sending a bit stream, all right? Not to be confused with analog audio. It's the same connector, entirely different purpose. All right, we're gonna show you one more cable that you might run into, especially if you're a keyboard player. This is a MIDI plug. And you'll notice it's got five little pins right there. Uh, not all of them are used, but this is called a five pin DIN, D-I-N connector. And what you can do is take this plug, this cord, and plug another, plug it the other end into another keyboard. They can talk to each other. You can also plug it into your computer. And it sends instrument performance data, slightly different, musical instrument digital interface to have your keyboards and your computer talk to each other. So there you have it, a quick look at some of the plugs you're gonna run into if you're playing music on the planet. Thanks.